Hello, everybody. Now, this is one data recovery video from Dropin Data Lab. Users can see that this is one Seagate new hard drive. It is the popular LM007 hard drive. This drive has partial sector access problem. So this is one very common firmware corruption issue related to the translator. Now we can see from the log window. So this is log window of the DFL Seagate hard drive firmware repair program. In the beginning, only 35% of data is accessible. Now we can see that. So only part of the data are accessible. Now this is the LBA. Now we can see here. So this is about 700 GB data is accessible. But after this LBA, all are not accessible. So now we are using the DFL Seagate Auto Translator Repair Program to fix this partial sector access. After one or two hours, we can see the LBA has been accessible to this size. This size is about 1.6 TB data. That means it is almost Let's calculate. This is the total size, the total LBA. So we can see it's almost 82% data has been accessible now. It was 35% data is accessible, but now it is 82% data is accessible. And I believe after half one hour or one hour, and the drive will be totally accessible. I mean the data error will be fully accessible. So this is the auto repair program. So here, when users enter the program, users need to go to the translator operations and then go to the menu called regenerate translator LM. After that, we come to this page. So this page, I mean, it is specially for LM or not LM. If the drive is other Seagate F3 hard drives like DM, VM, or other uh, 5400.6, some other kind of long LM hard drives, we need to select not LM. And here we need to use the default settings. And here the 4K a lot, we use the default settings for some 5, we need to check the sector size. Some of the Seagate F3 hard drives, the sector size is 512, so we need to untick this one. So here, quick process, quick process or long quick process. Here. Usually, we use default. Then, if the default is doesn't work, we need to untick this one. 
That means we need to add the LBA one by one. So from log window, we can see that it is from added LBA one by one. Anyway, these bad points are not successive. After some bad points have been added to the engineist and running the translator regeneration automatically by the program and a large arrow of bad points will be gone. That means more error will be accessible after some bad points are added to the engineist. So this one is very important is very important. So this function is very easy to use just some simple clicks. Anyway, before even this partial sector access function, this is auto repair function from the Dolphin Data Lab. Before we use this function, we need to make sure the genist and engineist are empty. We need to remove the defects in the genist and engineist first and then regenerate the translator. After regenerating the translator, we need to view the genist and engineist again to make sure these two defect lists are empty. And then we need to run the translator regeneration again. And finally, we use this function to repair the partial sector access problem. So this function has very high success rate with the DFL Seagate from repair too. So right now we have many DFL users who have used this function to fix a lot of hard drives with the partial sector access problems. Now we can see from log window More bad points, we can see the LBA keeps changing. More bad points have been added to the engine list and the translator has been regenerated. That means the data error has been accessible after this operation automatically. Thank you for watching this video.